to my channel, my name is Jane, and you're watching a channel where we teach you how to grow on social Damn. media. But it's a special day because last weekend we hit 200k subscribers! Woo! To be honest, the feeling of hitting 200k was interesting because here's the thing. I know a lot of you guys who are new might not know, but I've done YouTube for almost seven years. And not a lot of people know because they know me as like social media expert, but to be honest, it goes back to the good old days when I had a YouTube channel playing with dolls. I'm not kidding, it's still on the internet and if you find it, I bless your soul and some of you guys have. Um, but I thought it wouldn't be right to really acknowledge where I came from and where I started, which was playing with dolls. But I really didn't get views. And I know a lot of us are really discouraged when we are making content but no one sees it. Maybe you're someone who posts on Instagram and no one likes your photo. Sorry Sally, I don't know what to do. But let me tell you, a lot of people also make the excuse and look at my channel and be like, oh Jade, like you have 200,000, this is why you're successful and make content. No Sarah, I started with one subscriber subscriber, playing with dolls, and about 100 views per video. Everyone starts from somewhere. So that's why today I'm going to react to my old ass YouTube videos. This is going to be embarrassing. And I never ever show people my videos because it's pretty bad. But just for you guys, we're gonna see how bad these really are. <laughs> we're not gonna even talk any further. We're gonna dive right in. Oh, by the way, I asked you guys what you guys wanted for the 200,000 subscriber celebration. And 20% of you said that you wanted me to react to my videos, but a majority of you said you wanted me to fly out one of you guys for a contest to meet one-on-one -on -one to grow your social media. Now I've done one of those in the past when we hit 100K, but I haven't done one since. And I only make content that you want to see so make sure to stay to the end because we might or may not have a Giveaway at the end that requires you to meet me and we are going to hug But I'm not, I don't know if that's happening. So make sure you stay to the end. All right, so <laughs> For this video, it requires me to log in to my four other channels. I'm not joking when I said I had other YouTube channels. People don't believe me. <laughs> I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys see, but we have like three other accounts, including the J Delicious Joy, which is this channel. So we have to take a memory login to this YouTube channel. I'm so nervous. <laughs> We're in. Oh my god, I thought I got logged out of my account. Okay, keep in mind, let me give you some context. I didn't have I didn't come from a rich family, so I didn't really have a nice camera. All I had was iMovie. Um, and I love playing with dolls. Okay, I don't really have that much friends, so this is just my, okay, my, my films were everything to me. And yes, I said films, because my channel was named Kitty Films 8. All right, first video, not gonna stall anymore. There's a lot of videos. There's actually 96 on this channel. There's 200 more videos on the other channel. You guys thought I don't have enough content. I'm never gonna run out, you guys. There's there's too much embarrassing shit. Okay, let's go watch. Let's watch the most po one of the most popular videos. All right, so the first video is Little Pet Shop, Hannah Montana Part One. This was uploaded December 23rd, 2010, and got 45,000 views and 63 likes. Man, my engagement was shit. <laughs> the video hasn't even started yet, and it's out of focus. Jade, keep it together. No! Wait, <laughs> do you guys see that? So I didn't know how to add music at the time to a video, so I would play. I would, no joke, take my phone, record the video and play music on my phone and like cut it and like restart it again because I didn't know how to add audio. Anna! Jackson! <laughs> I didn't even know how to add voiceovers, so I would have to like enunciate everything instead of adding titles and stuff. How old was I? So 2010, I'm currently 17, so that means I had to have been... Oh my god, this is so bad, why can't I think? Wait, 2018, 2010, so that's eight years ago. I'm seven. Yeah, I was nine years old. I was nine years old when I made this video. Dude, let's get the video started. Oh, God, I breakfast for the kids. This is what you do when you don't have friends. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> okay, let's watch another video. That was so sweet. That YouTube intro, fire, bro. Wait, this is Little Pet Shop, The Rich and the Popular trailer. So it was a trailer to my new YouTube series. It's original, yeah, I know. Stopping the populars before they do. Dude, 
I made this when I was nine. This is pretty good, right? I'm pretty impressed. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. That was 2010. Let's go to 2011 when I was starting to show my face more. If anyone's confused, this is the timeline of Jade's content. 2010 was dolls and little pet shops. 2012 was music and music videos and like basically becoming a personality. 2014, 2015 was beauty, fashion, and makeup. And 2018, which is right now, 2019, is marketing and business. So we've been through so much, guys. We've been through fucking every phase. I think actually, I forgot even there was a phase when I was doing like filmmaking. I was a comedian at one point. Like this girl has evolved. Okay, August 20th, 2011, 120 views. Hey guys. What was that intro? Let's watch it again. Hey guys. Girl. If you think he's so cute and you want him so much, thumbs up this video and I might give him away and... Look at me doing some call to action. And you might have it. Oh. And I probably might put him in a contest on my head soon. And he's like, he has his eye pin so he can hang him. I'm like selling my little clay creation. This is so sweet. Oh, this video's like 36 seconds. What was I doing? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so 2011 was when I started making crafts. I realized that I couldn't afford most dolls again. Hey guys, so this is going to be a video on all the squishy donuts I have in my YouTube shop. I'm going to have a website probably in the next two weeks. So, <laughs> this girl is the web developer. All you gotta do, if you want to buy it from me, you just... Just PM me and I'll give you all the extra information. Oh my gosh, dude, I just said PM me. Do you remember on YouTube when there was no direct message? It was private message? Do you remember? Oh my gosh, you guys have to realize I got a lot of dislikes. I got seven thumbs up and five dislikes. And I was like 10. This girl was a trooper. I don't know how she dealt with it. I probably was really sad at some points because like I would get 100 views, but like 50% of people didn't like it. So that was really harsh. Um. I'm gonna scroll actually now to a few more videos in the future um, because I feel like it gets more interesting when I show my face. When does it really get embarrassing? We need shit that's really weird. <gasps> 2012, I started vlogging. No way. Hey guys, sorry if this video was like super boring. I was going to make like a, a vlogging video of like me going to Trader Joe's, but I used my phone and my phone couldn't upload it to YouTube, which was really stupid. So using my iPhone because my other phone was like stupid. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry if I didn't make a video on December first, just because I dyed my hair and there's my mom <laughs> in the background. There's my mom. E okay, and the guitar there, and I dyed my hair red on on the ends. Obviously, I didn't like. Do my entire head. I just did the ends. I'll do like a, a, a close video on that. And I just wanted to make a quick video saying, you know, because I had to make a video every day. And, you know, it's better than nothing, you know. So, um. Oh my yeah, god. But, I was daily vlogging. This is episode three, though. So, to be honest, I don't know how long it lasted. But, like, man, I was putting out content every single day. Since I didn't film the part where I went to Trader Joe's, I thought I would tell you what I got. So, I got some Christmas stickers. I'll show you. Because I'm going to have a. Oh, wow, this is actually interesting, you guys. I, as a 10 year old at this point, right? Like, my mind already was thinking about like apologizing to my audience that wasn't really there about like why I didn't daily vlog. This is so interesting because, like, I feel like now when I think about it, like, these are the things I think about today. Like, not much has changed. This is concerning. What was I doing when I was 10? All right, so I got some popcorn. Make sure you guys grab a snack because. We're not done with this video yet. We got so much more content to consume. Basically, I had to do a location change. I actually am in a co-working space and it's new to me, so bear with me. I'm so excited though, because the owner of this company is named George and he's freaking awesome. I love the office space this in Los Angeles, which I'm in. Um, actually, let me show you. This is the corner I work in. I obviously have my journal where I journal. You guys know I spend like hours journaling and planning my day. We got my Mac, we got my computer, and there's this little outdoor area. So whenever I take calls, I'll go outside here and just take a few meetings. I was just in that room, but someone is currently using it, so I got kicked out. But yeah, and I'm gonna go back and record the rest of this video, but I thought I'd show you a little tour. Oh my God, so my channel really grew really fast when I did a lot of doll reviews. So instead of doing films, I started doing product reviews because I realized it got better results in searches because people are searching for the doll. So when they found my video, 
they got I got more views because people were looking for it. So when I was a 10, I realized that hmm, films are hit or miss. Why not make product reviews because people are searching for these keywords? Okay, so this video is a good example of when it started getting views. Like I would get 500 views per video. So basically, this is a good example of when I started getting more views. Hey guys, hello. Today. Oh my god. <laughs> So I remember this. I was around, I would say, 10, 11 years old, and I just discovered makeup. <laughs> so you can see the blush and eyeshadow. We're really strong. Hey, my mom is filming. So today we're going to do a Monster High Tall review. So have Nefera! No wonder I didn't have friends. Nefera! <laughs> Father of Mummies, aka Cleo's sister. I, I really think she's this and it reminds me of it's gonna be cute. So let's just do a box review before we open it. So this is the box. Um, it's a Nephora. It has teal accents, which is really cool because I love teal and then, yeah, it's my favorite color. Um, the back has a little description. <laughs> the camera is still not in focus. What's new? Literally, some of you guys know, but like so many of my videos on this channel are not in focus. Like the audio is fucked. Like you guys did not sign up for this channel for quality content. <laughs> and yeah. Ow, about <laughs> Imagine I did that for every video. All right, so I saved the best video for last. The same year, 2012, I started to grow out of dolls. I just grew up a little bit. I started going to middle school, so I pivoted towards music. Here is my cover of Call Me Maybe by Carly J. Repson. <laughs> this is my friend Grace, plus Grace. She was like my best friend growing up in middle school. She would literally, when I had my eczema problem and I couldn't walk, she would like push me around a wheelchair. Like fucking Grace, if you're watching this, you're fucking dope. I haven't even talked to you for years. Like, thanks for making this with me. Who, who would? I trade my soul for a wish, pennies and dimes for a kiss. Wait, wait for I it. wasn't looking for singing. this, but now you're in my way. Your stare is holding rip. Ooh. <laughs> Jeans, skin was shown. Hot night, wind was blowing. Oh, Where you think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you, and it's crazy. I've probably made this video thinking Grace would be a good singer, but really I just got jealous because I wanted to be the center of attention, so I tried to like push her away. <laughs> so call me maybe it's hard to look right at you, baby. Here's Who are those guys? <laughs> Who are these boys? It's hard to look right. <laughs> I don't know these people. These are just strange. I just videotape strangers at the lake and I put them in my video. At you, baby, here's my number. So call oh, me, oh, baby. Yeah. Hey, I'm such a strategy. But here's my number. So call me, baby. So that concludes reacting to my old ass YouTube video. So it's just real talk. I want you guys to realize that throughout my eight, seven years on YouTube, it's almost eight. Oh my god. I went through so many niches changes right like i went from fashion beauty and you know a lot of the times we as creators face blocks where our audience knows us for a certain thing and it's hard to evolve now as you guys can see i took the front of it i i understood that maybe i got views for something and sometimes i don't get views for other things and i'm okay with that you know at the time when i had 500 subscribers that was so much to me it's still the level of magnitude of value like seriously I know a lot of us think if I only get hit a hundred thousand followers, I'll be happy But then you get there and you realize that it's not enough, right? It's crazy because I just feel the same like I'm just watching these videos and I feel the exact same making content I love growing as a creator um, So I just want to shift this thought of like hitting a milestone Do not tie your identity to what you do your niche and your subscriber number tie your identity to your craft and your purpose By far there's a huge difference you strip away the number and you replace it with the reason why you do it. All right, guys. So with that being said, yes, we have you know 200,000 of you watching, and I want to thank you. And I feel like the only way to properly thank you is if I can meet you in. So I'm having a giveaway where I fly one of you guys out and spend the whole day with me in dun, 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 New York. Okay, so basically last summer I did this for 100,000 subscribers and we did it in Los Angeles for one of my events called Swipe Up. Now, if you, some of you guys know, but I'm the founder of PBJ app and we hold events for creators and the next location is in New York. If you want to enter, the rules are simple. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, 
and comment your favorite video of my channel right now. Whether it's this one or two weeks ago, just comment below your favorite video. Now, here's how to enter. There's gonna be a Google form. All you have to do is make a YouTube video in response to this question. What is your dream and what's preventing you to get there? Make it as creative and crazy as possible. Do whatever it takes, make that video, and when you're done, there's a Google form where you can submit it so our team can look at it and pick a winner. I am so excited to meet you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There will be more giveaways in the future, I promise. So please stay tuned and turn on post notifications to be notified when we announce. All right, thanks so much for watching. Thanks, some of you have been here since like a thousand subscribers, so thanks so much for changing my life, Darmination. Have a great day, catch you guys in the next one, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you wanna be the next comment winner, just comment below your thoughts of this video, enter, do what you gotta do, share this video. I love you, tag me on your stories on Instagram. See ya. Catch you guys in the next one, and goodbye. Oh, she's sweet, but it's psycho.